Well, good morning, uh, family and friends. I greet you today in the name of Jesus. My name is uh, Cyril Pele. Uh, Pastor Theo and I were childhood uh, friends. Uh, 19th of October 2019 changed the family landscape of both the Chocolingham families and the Mudley families, race ministries, and all and sundry, including the fellowship of the Isaac group of churches and friends. The large turnout here today is indicative of the fact that our beloved Pastor Theo Chocolingham was loved by all. I don't think he had an enemy. One of his spiritual mothers that we could call spiritual mothers also is Pastor Joy Gopal. And I'm going to ask her to please come and lead us in a word of prayer. Let us pray. Let us pray. Our Father, we thank you, Lord, for this is the day that you have made. And we want to rejoice to know, Lord, that you are God Almighty. You are the God of the living. You are the God of the dead. And Lord, praise, we give you glory, Lord, for the life that Pastor Theo had, li had lived. We thank you, Lord, that we can gather together this morning to give thanks to you. We know, Lord, even, Lord, as your word says, Father, Theo is not dead, he's alive. Yeah. Lord, in your presence, and we give you thanks, we give you glory. Thank you for watching over his family. Thank you, Lord, for friends and families that have gathered together today to unveil this stone to you today. We thank you, Lord, Al Almighty God, that this day happens to be his birthday as well. And we know, Lord, that he's celebrating an heavenly birthday today. We thank you, Lord, that we had some connection with Pastor Theo. Lord, right from his beginning, Lord, as a little young boy, we thank you, Lord, for the, for the life that he had led. Lord, he had a passion for you, and we thank you for that passion. I know it lives on, Father, through his children. Father, even as they carry this uh, baton, they will grow from strength to strength is our prayer. And Father, today, even Lord, as we've come to unveil this tombstone, Lord, even as Joshua chapter 4 says, Lord, what mean these stones? And dear Lord, when Lord, when Christina's children grow up, she will talk about the stones Mommy. that Jesus said to the children of Israel when they had to cross over the Jordan, the swollen rivers of Jordan. You're able to do it. Take each priest, take a stone, that stone each, and lay it in that Jordan, and the waters will abate. Father, we thank you, Lord, today that the waters can abate, oh God. No flood can keep us down. And dear Lord, at this time, Lord, you are the one that dries our tears. And we know, Lord, it's a joy as we celebrate the life of Pastor Theo. So, Lord, even as we continue, Lord, bless us, we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we ask. Amen. Thank you. Thank you, Mother Pastor Joy. Uh, I also want to acknowledge the presence of Pastor Val Apanaya. God bless you, Mami. And also Julian Chetty, a musician uh, with Theo from the early days of Shekinah's life uh, and whom I shared at uh, Julian's wife's uh, funeral recently. We, we honor your presence. All of you, your friends, are so precious. Uh, uh, Theo's uh, sister is here. I didn't see her yet. Jane, where are you, Jane? Yes, come closer, Jane. We we thank you. This great, wonderful Chocolingham family, uh, whom I knew the father from our early days, that great saxophonist, uh, the late dad, George uh, Chocolingham, uh, who also played with the Shekinah Outreach every Saturday night with the late, uh, with the, with the, the uh, Freddie Chengen, the Bethesda Fisherman Club, uh, and Bala Peramal, and going and just adding to the sheaves at Shekinah Temple. We just thank God for this great ministry. Also, we want to acknowledge uh, Christina, Pastor Christina's aged parents, uh, Mama and Dada. Uh, they, we all grew. Uh, they were one of the well-to-do families in the early days, friends. And Dad was a head chef, a waiter at Lonsdale Hotel. And Christmas, we all spent our Christmas dinner at a white hotel for free. 
We ate and we ate and we ate and we are the products. Dada, if you see Anna and my stomach, it's because of your feeding. So, so we are so happy to have all of you and many of our family and friends that are closely related to Pastors Theo and uh, Christina are watching us live. Uh, wherever you are, New Zealand, Australia, England, and all around Durban, South Africa, we wish you were here. Uh, but we celebrate the goodness of the Lord in this uh, warm summer's morning. Uh, Pastor Theo's son, who is also in ministry in Johannesburg, Tilden, will play the keyboard. His other son, Wesley, will help to sing. And his only daughter, Crystal, will bless us with a worship song. So let's just celebrate the goodness of the Lord. Amen. I greet you all in the precious name of Jesus. Um, by far one of the hardest things I've ever to do today. So I really want to thank you all for being here for your support and love. We just give you praise, oh God. We give you glory, Lord. Lord Jesus, when time seems impossible, oh God, Father, Lord, you have comforted, oh God, Father. You have provided strength, Lord Jesus. And we want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you as a family, oh God, Father, for the love and the support, oh God, Father, of everyone that is here, Lord Jesus. Thank you, oh God, that we can stand together, oh God, knowing, Lord, that you had us, oh God, Father. You held our hands, Lord Jesus, every single step of the way, oh God, Father. You have never, ever let us down, oh God, Father. We want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Oh, yes, my God, we give you praises, oh Lord. We give you glory, Lord Jesus. You deserve the highest praise, oh Lord. You deserve the highest praise, my God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, my God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. 
Let's continue in prayer. I'm going to ask Pastor uh, Val up and up to please come and just pray over Pastor Christina and her family and to pray over the church. And uh, let's celebrate him as we get ready to hear the word of the Lord. Our oh God and Heavenly Father, we just give you thanks. What a glorious morning it is, Lord, yes. when saints could gather and rejoice in your presence and celebrate one, not who is dead, but who is alive in your presence, Lord. We thank you for all that you are and who you are to us. Because you live, we can live, Lord. We thank you for the life of our brother. He has been the seed that has gone into the ground. And now, Lord, we see the harvest that has come, not just in his biological family, but, Lord, to everyone's life whom he touched and impacted. Today, our special prayer goes to Christina and Lord Tilden and Crystal Lord together with their respective families. I thank you, Father God, for the love and peace that they have, that even in the midst of their storms, Lord, they still stand today. We pray greater grace be upon all of them, Lord, in whatever they do and say, Father, that everything will be said and done to the honor and glory of your name. We just want to celebrate. We want to rejoice this day, Lord. Father, truly how good it is when believers get together and stand in one accord, Lord, and we can rejoice and celebrate the King of kings and Lord of lords. Father, today we even pray for your servant that will bring the word today, Lord. We say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, the one who carries grace to dispense a portion of bread to every single one of us, Lord. We shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And today, Lord, whatever we take in, Father, it will be our food. Bless Pastor Cyril, even as he conducts, Lord, this, this procedure this afternoon, that everything, Lord, will just resonate with glory. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Thank you, uh, thank you, Pastor Val. Thank you, all the pastors here. Thank you, all the church leaders and all the families. Uh, this pastoral couple had many, many, many uh, friends in many churches. We also want to acknowledge the presence of Pastor Mark and Mano Pile. Also, God bless you richly. Uh, I was not here at the funeral. Lalita and I were in the USA, and how traumatized we were. At about 4 o'clock that morning when we got the news. You know, we, we grew up together in, in, in the assemblies like Fairhaven, uh, Elijah's Fountain Sunday School, uh, Shekinah Assembly 13. Then we moved to the General Church. Uh, Theo was a, was a wonderful guy, a roadrunner from school days. Uh, we were there when they were courting. Uh, we were there when they got married, when the kids were born, when the church was born. And, and that's why Christina, I think, just allowed me to lead and just to share the word of the Lord this morning. It was that great, wonderful Indian by the name of Rabindranath Tagore, who was born in Calcutta, India, and who was awarded the Nobel Prize for Literature in 1913, said these words, Death is not putting off the lamp but it is just putting off the light because the dawn has come. John chapter 14 tells us, Let not your heart be troubled. He believe in God, believe also in me. For in my Father's house are many mansions. I go to prepare a place for you. This is exactly what happened to our beloved Pastor Theo Chocolingham. Because of the gift of salvation, and we want to thank his wonderful parents, his mother was an intercessor, attended all of the ladies' meetings also in the Shekinah Assembly and at Shekinah. And because of Pastor Theo's gift of salvation, his name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. So amidst all of the hurry and scurry at Chatsmith Hospital that morning, the angels came and took him home. He didn't leave home, he went home. And I want to say to us all here today, what the caterpillar calls the end, God calls a butterfly. Crystal and uh, Tilden, it was dad's natural, it was the end of dad's natural life, but the beginning of his eternal life. That's why the Bible tells us in the book of Nahum, chapter 1 and verse 7, the Lord is good 
a stronghold in the day of trouble. Sure, we were in trouble that fateful morning. But when we look back in retrospect, we raise our hands and say, Ebenezer, hitherto hath the Lord blessed us. That is why the Bible tells us in Psalm 40 verse 17, the Lord is our help. It says, Thou art my help and my deliverer. And so, Pastor Christina, when the night is long and dawn takes forever to break, you know that thou art my help and my deliverer. That is why, family, this morning, the Bible says in Psalm 21 and verse 1, The Lord is my strength. I know the Chocolingham family has dealt a severe blow during the pandemic. We bless Cliffy Chocolingham's blessed memory. We bless uh, Ranji Chocolingham's blessed memory. And I'm sure, Jane, you have fond memories uh, of your wonderful uh, husband and many of you that are gathered here today and many of you that are watching including you linda of beautiful wonderful unassuming erica but the bible says in psalm 27 verse 1 the lord is the strength of my life of whom shall i be afraid death will not move us you are sandra who lost her husband as a teenager a teenage husband in those days but she's still standing strong and so today my dear friends we are comforted by the words the lord is our comfort when we look at a bible character by the name of job in job 19:25, and he says for i know my redeemer liveth when you ask julian chetty who who's such a wonderful tell what even based at bethesda temple today how lonely life can be but at the end of it uh, he will say i know my redeemer liveth so my dear friends i want to say to you pastor christina and your wonderful family and many of you that are mourning the loss of a loved one revelation chapter 21 and verse 4 says and god shall wipe away all the tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying neither shall there be any more pain I pray today in the name of Jesus uh, that God would bless you. God would strengthen you. Uh, I can hear Theo whispers to me and says, uh, I looked upon life as a gift from God. I did nothing to earn it. Uh, now that the time has come to give it up, I have no right to complain. So let's just raise our hands as we begin to pray for our family in the name of Jesus. We worship you, Lord. Uh, Julian, you have suffered pain and loss. Uh, won't you pray today? And I pray in the wonderful name of Jesus uh, that God would bless you in a very special way. We thank you, dear Heavenly Father. We just honor your name and magnify your name today. Lord, we thank you that Theo has left a legacy, Lord. He was faithful to the cause. He stood with you till, till the end, Lord Jesus. Fought a good fight. And now he's gone to a better place. And I'm sure now at this time he's looking down upon us, Lord. And I'm praying that you would help us. That we would be able, Lord, to celebrate this time. Knowing, Lord, even though we miss him, Lord, we know that your spirit is here to comfort us. Give us strength, Lord, to move on forward, Lord Jesus. Thank you for Christina and the children. I'm praying that you would give them the strength. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in their lives, Lord Jesus. And I praise you, Lord, that you are directing their paths. Lord, as we look to you this afternoon and pray, bless each person that is here, Lord Jesus. Lord, we might take we, we might take a leaf out of this book of Theo, Lord. Yes. And know, Lord Jesus, let us be faithful mm -hmm. to the end. Lord, when he found me, always encouraged me. Mm. He always spoke about doing things for the Lord. Mm. Always getting involved in the business of God, faithful to the end. And Lord, help us, Lord. Help each one of us to be faithful 
to the end for you, Lord Jesus. And I thank you for his life. I thank you, Lord, that we are not in sorrow, but we celebrate this man of God's life. And Lord, we hand over his family to you. And we say, thank you, Lord Jesus, for what you did. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, uh, Brother Julian. Friends, we have four uh, speakers here this morning. And uh, I'm going to call upon uh, Pastor Ivan Modley first. He's the brother of Pastor Christina. Then I'm going to call upon Jeffrey Naidu, uh, a teenage friend, a working colleague, worked together at Balin Forms in those days. Then I'm going to ask Pastor Theo's sister, Jane Naika, and uh, Pastor Theo's inseparable ministerial colleague, Pastor V. These Hari Pasad, they'll come in that order. Uh, you won't see me now until later. Thank you so much, Pastor Ivan. Greetings in the wonderful and powerful name of Jesus Christ. And um, before I continue with my tribute, Pastor Cyril said, uh, Anna and him is to go to your hotel together with you. And you can see their stomachs and you can see my stomach. They ate everything and left nothing for me. That's why I look the way I look. But on a more serious note, I want to thank God for, for bringing Pastor Theo into our lives, especially the Moodley family. This man never knew the word no. He was a powerful servant of God. He was a top chef, top baker. He was a people's person. And you know, I, I was standing here and I was thinking about Christmas Day. What he will do the entire night, he will do the rose to and the trifle. And in the morning, he will go to church. But after church, they would do a community feeding project. That was Christmas Day for years. And we had the fa as the family used to wait for them to finish and come. That's what he was. He was a man after God's own heart. And I want to tell you, he, his priority was God. He was preparing more for heaven when he was here. And uh, he left a rich legacy. Today, when we look at Christine, Pastor Christina, any other la lady woman would say, why must I carry on? Let me give it up. But I want to thank God for the legacy that he's left, that my sister, together with Crystal and her spouse, together with children, even in, in, in Johannesburg, that can follow in the footsteps of their father. Today, I don't only miss him as my brother-in-law, I also miss him in ministry. When gospel outreach as the church, when we plan any uh, program, whether it's a convention, we would call him first and say, Pastor Theo, you do the praise and worship because no one would touch him with praise and worship. I said he was dedicated to God. And today I say to our my immediate, by, to the family, to Pastor Christina and the children, grandchildren, and, and the in-laws, just know today, just follow in his footsteps. He's in a better place resting. And we as a family truly miss him. But we're going to thank God that he is with God. And we have the assurance we're going to see him one day. Thank you. God bless you. Amen. I just want to greet all of you in Jesus' precious name. It's actually a pleasure to say a few words on behalf of Theo. Theo and I go back a long way. I was a young boy when I met Theo. And uh, it's amazing how we became friends. I was Hindu at that time. And one of my neighbors gave me a guitar. And this man said to me, you know, one day when you get saved, you're going to play this guitar. So what I did, I took it, left it outside my house. And then Theo used to come often to my neighbor's house, Pastor Basil Armuga. And he saw this guitar and he said to me, young man, I like this guitar and I want to have it. And I gave it to him, not knowing the worth of what the guitar was. But there was something greater that developed out of that was friendship. And uh, I spent most of my young days, you know, in the Chocolingo family. I was like one of the sons. And uh, both Theo and Cliffy were very close to me. And I knew them for many, many years. And even Gloria and I will be coming now in the vehicle. We're just talking and we said, when I saw Gloria and I liked her, and I said, the only person I could speak to was to Theo. So I went up to Theo and I said, Theo, this is a young woman that I'm interested in. He said, Jeffrey, don't worry, leave everything to me, I'll sort it out. 
And Theo and I spent a lot of time together. I remember in the early days when Christina used to work a lot of overtime at MSC. And then Theo used to come home, pick me up to go and pick it up. And then we had a lot of time, you know, we used to talk. And even during my wedding time as well, he was like my big brother and I used to go to him for advice. And even our honeymoon, he actually sponsored our entire honeymoon. And amazingly, I was just sharing with Gloria this morning, on my 21st birthday, he gave me a gift. And up to now, I still have that gift with me. So I just want to say that Theo was truly a legend. And you know, it's not important of what we leave behind for our kids and the wealth. It's a legacy that we leave. And Theo left a legacy, not only for his family and his children, but also for us as well. Because Theo wasn't a giver, he was a sower. He used to plant and he used to make sure that it was, the planting was done on fertile ground. And as a servant of God, Theo knew exactly how to serve. He was one of the most humble servants of God that I met. He was a true man of the cloth. And uh, even when he's, during the time when he passed away, I took it, we took it very seriously, uh, badly. But we want to thank God that in his life, that we could celebrate him in his death as well. Because what he's left behind is for us to take that and follow through. And one thing I learned from Theo was humility. He was a true man of humility. And he always told me, he said to me, Jeff, when people hurt you, don't become meaner, become stronger. And those words always stays with me. And he says, and Theo went through a lot in his life as well. And he said, I learned that through my bad times, that God is in control. And I want to thank the Lord that Theo actually grounded me in the word. And he was a phenomenal uh, praise and worship leader. And that's all we can take back and say, Lord, thank you for a man that served so well. And it's your well done. Thank you. Pastors, family, and friends. I'm going to read my. It is with great sadness that I remember my family today. So special memories of all of you all will always bring a smile to my face. If only I could have you back for just a little while. My special memories are not only of my brother Theo, but of my late dad, George Chocklingham, Mom Rupmani, and older brother Logan, and my younger brother Kippy. We were a family that prayed together, family that played together, made music together. We were the family that kept the family together loving the Lord, worshipping Him with music and our passion that I'm so proud of today to see it's passed down from generation to generation. Theo was an extra special part of our lives. He was a middle child, the apple of my parents' eyes. Always took special care of his siblings, even though He, al he, always, he always followed the instructions of the Lord. I remember I remember as a young adult just learning to play the guitar, all excited about the one song that I learned to sing and play and decided to render an item in Fairhaven, what uh, Pastor Sudul mentioned. Without telling Theo, he was not impressed. He was not impressed. I had a good telling off. He said, you only play when you are a perfectionist. And, and he did teach me. He taught me well. I must say, he did teach me well. bad idea to read. Anyway, God bless all of you and especially to children, Crystal and their spouses and Christina especially. I pray for the favor and the blessings of God to, to be upon you today and always. I love you all.
Firstly, I want to honor the presence of the Holy Spirit in this place. The essential ministries, to, to the presiding minister, family, friends. Uh, love is stronger than death. We cannot stop death, but not even death can cut the bonds of love. Death cannot erase the memories that we have. So in the end, it is death that loses and life that wins. Theo's life will always be celebrated. And memories of him will be clearly cherished. We hear him daily. In his absence physically, we still hear him daily. In a song, in a certain place, a scent, a phrase. Little pieces of him cushioned in all of our hearts. We miss his presence. We miss his voice. And personally speaking, I really miss him. He was a friend. He was a brother. Someone I, I could be myself in. Good. As a minister, you can't be yourself with everyone. With everyone. But when I went to his house, or when he came to mine, we can kick off our shoes, put our feet up on the on the settee, and relax. It's a friendship that goes back over 30 years. Our youth days were such wonderful days. I was a notorious character. And uh, in fact, uh, it was in the youth camp that God brought me back to him. I told one of the boys, please ask the youth leader. I did not know Theo at the time. Can I come to the camp? I did not know what a camp was. And he says, no ways. Because I had a reputation. But with the Holy Spirit on my side, because God knew my heart, he relented. And in that place, yeah, it is there God arrested me for the rest of my life. And I walked into the fivefold ministry. So there are many nostalgic memories. Our camping, prayer on the beach whole night with the little children, Crystal sleeping in the blanket, children on the beach. Carol singing on the trucks, jumble sales in town Victoria Street Market on a Saturday, 5 o'clock in the morning. Eating on the bonnet of the cars, the youth council meetings, early morning and late night activities. Our mature years were filled with long drives, holidays, getaways, Drakensburg, Cape Town, prayer time, Bible studies, long talks, laughter, singing, food, coffee, the morning market, Shongweni, house and garden shows, birthday celebrations, fruit farms, hikes. No, I did not know he, he, he had a failing heart. And Christina kept it away from him. The doctor told her, you know, I made him walk up Drakensberg mountains for three hours. And then she reminded my wife, Abigail, hey, you know, I still got a heart problem. I didn't know, I, I, I got shocked. I kept quiet. But he was just from here, maybe up the hill there, away from the, the summit of the mountain. And I said, hey, may God is with us. Carry on, brother. And he did it. These are the times that we spent. And whenever there was a fight, I always sided with my wife. Secrets. Biryani, fried fish, sushi, and of course late nights and early morning activities. Theo was a kind man. He was a considerate man. And he was a practical man. I saw him love Chris. And I, let me tell you one thing, she took full advantage of that. I mean, full advantage. He spoiled her every day. I never saw somebody eat crab. The husband took all the flesh from the crab and, and, and he put it on the plate. This is how, 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 to what lengths he went to spoil her. Because he loved her dearly. And in these days, it is very few men 
who can do that? For his 60th birthday, one of the pastors said, hey, I'd like to marry you. <laughs> After hearing what, all that he did for her, he saw him love his children and his grandchildren. And wherever he went, he took them, the children would. I, I remember when you when didn't have a car, he, he, our children was half asleep when he went to church. His father told him and went every morning. Make sure. Today he's in ministry because of the discipline that was instilled in their lives. Well, they were still yet small and they did not understand the things of life. So he loved his children and his grandchildren. He loved his church. The young people that others overlooked. He was a good godly man that loved the Lord. He served God and people all his all the days of his life. He gave all that he could and he lived by example. So today I pay this tribute to him and I, I publicly say that we really miss him. I, when I say I really miss him, we really miss him. At times, the other day, the car hooted at the gate. I said it is still. I, because he's, in our heart he is still here. And his wife, my wife looked at me and said, hey, what do you say? Because when I heard that hooter at the gate, I exactly knew whose car it was. And I'm so glad that our paths crossed and our lives were interwoven together with him. The family, I look back and see how the Lord has, has kept his hand over you. And he will keep on having his hand over you. I pray God bless you all now and always. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Viz. Thank you so much. Uh, I'd like for Pastor Christina's immediate family and uh, extended family, Mama and Dada and other members of the family, to come. Uh, I'd like for Pastor Trevor Dolan to come up and also for Pastor Mark and Mano to please. Is Pastor Sandra here by any chance? You can come also, Pastor Sandra Dolan. Uh, join Christina. Uh, if the uh, live streaming guys could come a little closer, it's okay. And we want Tilden and Crystal and Damien to stand on either side of this tombstone. And Eddie Chetty from Chicana, you can come too, please. Come in. Wade and Winston. Okay. Okay, okay. Wade and Winston, also you can come up. Pastor, you can come closer, please. We'll do this together. And, uh, yes. Yeah, if you can come up, please. Uh, please do so. Christian, Christian. And, Sanjay, can you stand Dear friends, uh, under the canopy of heaven, we are gathered together today at this very special memorial site where part of Theo's heritage and legacy lies with his family. It's a family grave and Christina and the kids so wonderfully redecorated and modeled this place. And uh, Theo will live in our hearts. Actually, he's part of the cloud of witnesses today. And in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, his children and his spouse will unveil the ribbon so that the tombstone could be exposed.
and friends to the glory of God with all of the servants of God gathered here today, family and friends. We dedicate this tombstone of Jiva Nathan Theo born 26th of February 1959. Today is his birthday with Christ on the 16th of October 2019. Thy remembrance shall endure into all generations. Psalm 102 verse 12. We dedicate this tombstone now and celebrate his mother and his father. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord guide you. From today onwards, may this add another new chapter in your lives. May you walk in kingdom authority, kingdom power, kingdom dominion. Wherever your foot shall trod, you shall claim in the mighty name of Jesus. And Father, the little, the peace that your son Theo is enjoying in your heaven, you would share with his family. And as family and friends together, let's pray together the Lord's Prayer. Together, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you for watching, family. Uh, we pray God's blessings be upon you. And all of you that attended, thank you so much. Uh, if you have been invited, we wish to see you in a short moment at the uh, memorial and Thanksgiving service. Thank you. Happy Heavenly Birthday, Theo. Oh, friends, as you leave, uh, you get some refreshments at the bottom. Uh, it's Theo's treat, treat for you. Thank you for coming. God bless you, Richard. Krishna, you and the children must have. Go the children, take it. The children. Krishna, go there. Krishna, tell them. Tracy, quickly, do you a photo? Amen. 
Are you looking? You'll see it, baby. Chocolate. Thank you. 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 Pick up the pick up. Ready? Yeah, yeah. One, two, three, go. I'm not. 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 I'm not.